you doing to help deal with dark thoughts? And I mean, sometimes really dark thoughts. Well, dark times can be energy draining, but plugging into sources of power can help you navigate some of life's most difficult challenges. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we continue a series on support during challenging times. Now, the series was originally designed to help with suicide prevention, offering unconditional helps for dark thoughts. But these supports can help anyone who is dealing with difficulties, any type of energy draining thought that will disrupt your destiny and your purpose. While professional mental health support is crucial, the things that we're going to be talking about today, there are alternative or augmentative approaches to the treatment that you might get with your traditional doctor's office. And of course, I am a board certified psychiatrist, but I'm not necessarily your psychiatrist. So make sure that you're seeking professional help in times of need. And the things we're going to talk about today, we got six steps. Number one, the power of peer support. Peer support is a unique form of assistance that involves individuals who've lived experiences and they're supporting each other, empathizing with one another. Now, connecting someone who's already gone through a similar struggle with someone else can provide a sense of understanding, validation, and hope. Online communities, support groups, helplines that are staffed by trained peers can be invaluable resources in extending a helping hand to those who feel alone. Now, great examples are things like NAMI, the National Alliance for Mental Illnesses Peer-to-Peer -peer Group. Those who've experienced trauma might appreciate a group like TRIM, the Trauma Recovery Empowerment Line. Number two, the healing power of art. Art therapy and creative expression have long been recognized as power tools for healing and self-discovery. Now, engaging in artistic activities can help individuals express their emotions, explore their inner selves, and find solace during difficult times. Painting, drawing, writing, music, any form of creative expression can serve as an outlet for processing emotions and fostering a sense of purpose and connection. Now, this is far from things that we were taught literally decades ago, but it's coming into vogue now to think about a creative activity. And it's not just for improving mood and health. It's also for helping in mental flexibility and problem solving. And that can give you success in any area, particularly work. Number three, nature as a source of healing. Now, spending time in nature has a profound impact on your mental well being. Research has shown time and time again that exposure to nature reduces stress, improves mood, promotes overall psychological well being. The list of benefits are endless. Now, connecting to the natural world around you, hiking, gardening, simply sitting out on your porch and enjoying nature or sitting near a stream or watching a nature video on, on, on the telly or, or on the internet can be helpful for navigating difficult and dark thoughts. I've actually given part prescriptions for patients to spend a certain amount of time each day or each week outside of their home in a local park. Number five, holistic approaches to healing. Holistic approaches, it's very simply meaning the whole person, treating the whole person, body, mind, and spirit, rather than just addressing the symptoms. Now, practices like prayer and meditation, mindfulness and breath work can actually help individuals cultivate self-esteem, self-awareness, regulate emotions, reduce anxiety, and foster a sense of peace, regardless of what is happening around you. And it dates back to how it helps you physiologically. We, as a people, don't tend to take good enough deep breaths. And doing that more can help with distress. Now, notice the word that I said earlier about practice and, and doing this as a routine or habit. You know, if you're just doing it now, every now and again, or only when you feel frustrated, it's going to make you feel more frustrated. Consistency is key. Start like activities in the virtual Hope Box app, which is put out by the VA. Number six, animal assisted therapy. Animal assisted therapy involves interactions with trained therapy animals to reduce anxiety, alleviate feelings of loneliness, and promote emotional well being. However, you can think outside the box on this, whether it's spending time in formal therapy with dogs, horses, and equine therapy, or just spending time with somebody else's pet. Yeah, this is a borrow a pet kind of moment. Individuals who do this, who are struggling with dark thoughts, suicidal thoughts, it's been shown to help relieve those things. Now, again, think outside of the box. If you don't have access to a therapy pet on your own or through someone that you know, check out your local library or local college institution because they often have pet therapy days. Well, unconventional help for challenging times and dark thoughts, it expands our understanding of the diversity in ways that individuals and we as a community can find support in healing. Now, traditional mental health intervention remains fundamental. But exploring these alternative or augmentative approaches can offer additional sources of comfort, connection, and empowerment. 
So let's make sure you're plugged into the right power source. Thank you so much for listening. And we hope that you will have a very blessed day on purpose.